Hi, I'm Colonel Mike Place, and I'm really excited about this video blog because today I'm joined by Dr. Angela Drake, a clinical neuropsychologist here at the Madigan Traumatic Brain Injury Clinic. March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and it's important for us in the military community to remember that brain injuries can happen to anyone, whether you're in the military or not. Brain injuries occur on the battlefield, at home, or even on a basketball court. In fact, about 80% of the brain injuries we see at Madigan occurred in garrison, either during training or while participating in an outdoor activity. No matter where the injury happened or your duty status, the impact can be just as significant and the need for medical evaluation just as strong. So, Dr. Drake, being here on a military installation, many of us, when we think of traumatic brain injury, we think of things like an IED, IED blast or, or some sort of combat-related injury. Can you share with us any of the other activities or situations that you've seen that cause brain injuries? Well, one of the things that I would tell you is we have an active duty population and they're active. So they're engaged in a lot of physical activities like soccer, football, uh, rock climbing. And they do get injuries from falls, from motor vehicle accidents. And there's really a, a wide range of reasons why people come to the clinic. It's not, we do see combat related injuries, but there's a whole range of accidents that occur in our population. Okay, so what are the, some of the symptoms that people ought to be looking for to help identify when a brain injury occurs? Well, one of the primary things that we want to ask about is whether there was a loss of consciousness or even an alteration of consciousness, which is really when uh, a person is dazed and confused briefly after a blow to the head. Uh, most of the time, the acute symptoms will resolve quickly, but if they don't, again, it's a good thing to get checked out and make sure that there isn't uh, other issues going on. Okay, so the alteration of the level of consciousness, that's a, obviously a big thing. Are there other symptoms? Um, I've heard things like sleep problems or behavioral health conditions sometimes or sometimes memory problems. Um, Number one, could you talk about some of those and then could you also say what you would offer to folks because sometimes, f particularly soldiers, are, are not as interested in coming early to get care. Sure. What would you sure. tell them about that? Well, I think one of the things you want to really understand is that there are acute symptoms like nausea and vomiting and headache that should resolve fairly quickly if it's a concussion. However, the types of issues that you talked about in terms of sleep, behavioral uh, health issues, and, and headache, chronic headaches, can really evolve over time. And one of the things that I would encourage people to do is if they continue to have persistent symptoms, we do have really good interventions and we can treat and manage those problems so they don't become worse. That's great. Early intervention is the key. Early intervention is the key. Great. So. This TBI clinic is offering a special program for service members called the Madigan Intrepid Spirit Transitions or MIST. W would you explain to the folks what that is? I would love to, sir, thank you. It is an intensive outpatient program, which is really quite unique. One of the things that we are really focused on is transitions in the program, thus the, the name of the program. We're looking at helping folks really uh, adjust, reintegrate, and really function at the optimal levels uh, after a concussion or a head injury. And again, that can occur from a lot of different reasons. We've got folks who have combat-related injuries, remote concussions. We also have folks that have more recent uh, head injuries that come to us. Uh, it's a very holistic program that focuses on the entire individual, including uh, mind, body, and spirit. So we're really excited about this program. Uh, and it's focused on helping individuals learn new skills and strategies to improve their daily lives. So maximizing performance and I would imagine trying to get soldiers back to full duty. Our goal is to get soldiers back to full duty, but we also are taking care of all sorts of uh, soldiers in different phases of their career, including those that are nearing retirement. Yeah, sure. So while the MIST program is specific to active duty service members, 
What does the TBI clinic offer to retiree and family members? So the, the TBI clinic does have a full range of resources and services available for family members and retirees as well as the active duty service member. Uh, we are not able to put uh, family members or retirees in the IOP at this point, but we have classes that we provide on different topics like memory, headache. We also have specialty care available and we have behavioral health resources. So it's a really great resource even for family members and retirees. Dr. Drake, thank you so very much for taking a couple of minutes to share your expertise. Thank you much. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. All right, next we're headed to the site of the new facility we're building here at Madigan called the Intrepid Spirit Center. That's where the pain clinic area is going to be. Very nice, very nice. Hi, I'm joined by Jim Brasser, the program administrator for the TBI clinic, and we're here at the site of the Intrepid Spirit Center, located just behind the hospital, near the Fisher House in America's Credit Union. Jim, this is absolutely great. What's the latest with the Intrepid Spirit Center? Well, so the Intrepid Spirit Center is scheduled to open in December of this year, and our primary mission is to provide TBI-specific clinical services, TBI education, and conduct research on clinical outcomes following TBI. So what are the special features of this Intrepid Spirit Center? Well, right now, the TBI clinic is located at the Madigan Annex. The building of this new Intrepid Spirit Center will give us more space to provide clinical care, as well as conduct necessary research to give us tools to combat the effects of brain injuries. The center is about 25,000 square feet, and will offer an intake and clinic area for things like behavioral health screening and testing, chiropractic treatment, and typical exam rooms. There will also be a physical therapy wing with an open gym, a functional rehab room, and a quiet family area that is adjacent to the outdoor patio that will provide a space for patients and families to spend time together. It will be an incredible facility with programs and services. I'm really excited to be able to bring this to the JBLM community. Yeah, Jim, we're all looking forward to opening this center and providing all these great treatment modalities to our TBI patients. So thank you for tuning in and learning a little about the programs and services Madigan offers for treating brain injuries, as well as this sneak peek into our newest facility addition, the Intrepid Spirit Center. Even though this rain that we've been having may say otherwise, spring is right around the corner. So as you do more activities outdoors, please protect yourself. Remember, the best outcome for a concussion is to never have one. But if you do, be sure to stay on top of the symptoms and speak with your providers immediately if you have any concerns. You can always get great information about Madigan, our clinics and programs on our homepage or on our Facebook and Twitter pages. I'll see you next month as we shine a light on our young people for April's month of the military child. Care with compassion.